I'm gonna share it right quick. Come. Man, in the news this morning was crazy, yo. The Lord, been, the Lord getting it in, bro. He deleting people for real, for real, bro. <laughs> I mean, one dude, one dude uh, went oops upside somebody here with a with a machete and all that, bro. Uh -huh. And then one dude went oops upside somebody here with a baseball bat. <clears throat> oh, this pastor, this pastor got shot, in, got um banged in his mouth, bro. Yep. Yeah, in the mouth. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but this pastor got banged in his mouth, bro. Uh -huh. Somebody was trying to spoil his vehicle. He went outside yeah. and tried to grab. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny you say that. Um, I had somebody <laughs> tell me that. <laughs> I had somebody tell me today. Um, some chick got um, put put the flight when she was running. It happened down in Georgia, running and from um, where? Uh, she was just like you know, just like uh, running That's and true. you know, trail. Right. Yeah, jogging, and um, uh, some Jake put her to flight, and. Um, they was talking about it at work and uh one of my co-workers was like yeah when i go running i run with a machete on my side she you know not not too big but you know just something just to and i'm just like you know that's the times we living in man neither you know? is there any that can deliver out of his hand that's all we're saying <laughs> you can get that um yeah it's um, true i'll say first what's that i said i said finish what you were gonna say first oh no that's it that's it you know See, that, that's what I'm saying, man. They always got to be seen, though, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, I ain't, I ain't jogging out there no more unless I'm with my husband. They're mm -hmm. going to go jogging. Oh, with all this crime. Oh, give me a fact, get Ephesians, bro, the fifth chapter. We'll yeah. start off with that. All right, we'll start <laughs> off with that. And then we'll open up. Huh. You can read 14, 15, and 16. And then yep. we'll open up. Then yeah, Lord willing, if we hit, if we have enough time, we'll hit something off the board. Lord's will. Uh, I'm ready whenever you're ready, bro. Come. Uh, said Ephesians five. Yeah. Lord willing, the government will shut. Eventually, it's going to shut down, bro. Uh, eventually, the government will shut down, man. Going right back to arm, um, going right back to Jeremiah 51. <clears throat> Lord, they gonna continue to heal this place, man. Right. No matter how much money they pump into the economy and create so-called jobs and things of that nature, um, affordable housing, that ain't gonna help this place, man. Nah. You got it, bro. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 14. <clears throat> Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead. And Hamashiach shall give thee light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, <coughs> His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gospel of people here for a bit. Got the brother Kabai with me. The other one. On the brother Hawaii, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and they're making in this. It's high time to wake out of sleep. Salvation mm -hmm. the, little, 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 the Lord put a squeeze on this place, bro. Actually, right. actually taking the mirth out of this place, bro. All joy, all faces and joy is turning into mourning, bro. These people are really mourning. Yep. You look at everybody into that damn jungle juice, that, that, that Capri Sun. You know what I'm saying? So now, now look, bro. These people are actually bugging the hell out, man. Losing it. And the only yep. thing that's keeping us stable is the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. <clears throat> it's one for that, bro. We'll lose it too. Because you know, and it's a saying in the world, when you have nothing to lose, you just lose you it. Lose it. So these people ain't got nothing to lose. They're, they're, they're setting, they're setting themselves on fire. They're setting each other on fire like that woman. She set her whole um, family, you know what I'm saying, um, her offspring on fire in that house. Mm -hmm. And then she set herself on, and she, she set the whole house on fire while, while everybody was asleep, bro. Right. With her in it, you know what I'm saying? And just laid it down, bro. You know what I'm saying? Deleted everybody. Yeah, house burning out to the damn ground, bro. Yep. You got it. Come on. I got a precept, too. Got it. Uh, Ephesians 5 and 14, it says, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, 
and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give thee light. Come on, look, look, because the man and woman, Israelite man and woman, they wander out of the way of understanding, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So what's what makes us dead? Not taking heed to the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. The Lord said, Arise, what did it say, bro? Awake thou that sleepest. Yep. Our people in a spiritual coma right about them. The Lord said, Wake up, come back to your nationality, come back to your heritage, come back first and foremost to your power, your howl through his only begotten son, your howl shy, who they gonna be called God and Jesus, and he will give you light. What is that like? This word, the only thing that's gonna keep us <laughs> stable. When we look starting up with the head of apostles slash elder bishops, the great millstone, and the men on down, we go over this every day, every day. How important Isaiah 33 and 6 is. Then yeah. we come right back, you know, what I'm saying we bring out Proverbs, the third chapter. Then we come right back and bring out Proverbs, the eighth chapter. You see, mm -hmm. then we come right back and bring out wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 11. If you don't have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, scripture, what's going to happen? Misery is going to kick in, you know? It's, it's going to settle in, bro. Yep. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, did, oh, did three, four jobs, that shit, that shit is vain. Trusting in the government, that's vain. Everything our people put their hope and their trust in, bro, is going to fail them every time. Mm -hmm. They trust yep. not in the Holy One of Israel. You got it, bro. I got a precept for that Proverbs 21 you quoted. Got it. I can read it, too, if you want it as well. Go on and get it, brother. Come on, this is Proverbs 21 and 16. Hey, can this I just say this, bro? Because our people are going to come to the realization that this place can't be healed. Right. And no matter how hard you work or how hard you pray for this place to bounce back, it's not going to bounce back. This place is circling the drain, man. It's, it's chaotic. It's not going to go back in, in this problem, reaction, solution. solution. This devil creates the problem. He's seeing how people are reacting to it now, and then he's going to bring in the solution, meaning that MOT to the BBBB. But it, that's why these other Israelite group leaders, they're going to uh, have a lot of explaining to do soon come, bro. You right. got it. This is Proverbs 21 and 16. It says, the man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You got it. Yep. That's why we, we brought out Ephesians, the fifth chapter. The Lord said, arise from that dead state, not like not knowing who you are, man. Right. All right? Because uh, these these uh, heathen nations, they wasn't given this wisdom, knowledge, or understanding. They wasn't given this breath of life from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, but we was. Right. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, we was given that breath of life, right? And like he was going into a while, if you don't come back to your nationality, come back to who you are, knowing who your God is, you're going to perish on this side. Right. Saying. That's right. Uh, this you first perish, section, man. Oh, I, got, I got one right quick for you, bro. Huh? This is uh, um, a, a goodie. Yep. So, so goodie. Second um, Chronicles chapter 15. This thing is deadly serious, man. The Lord taking, taking the Lord requiring souls, yo. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. Well, I started 12. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord, power of their fathers, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, with all their heart and with all their soul. Yeah, and it wasn't all, 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 all nations there. It was just the nation of Israel. We made that agreement. Right. Right. We, we, we made that agreement with Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, that we was going to do according to his ways, man. And it came with blood. That's right, bro. You know? Yeah. Yep. It says, um, that you want to say something? Nah. Uh -huh. That whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel shall be put to death. Yes, that's right. You know, when you, seeking is you have to go looking for it. Mm -hmm. Our people are looking for the bag, next, the next come up, the next lick. When in actuality, they should be seeking salvation in the God of the Bible through his own begotten son. Right. And he has men set up to show you the way to salvation, but yeah, our people want it not. Oh yeah, bro. Um, when you finish, um, say what you got to say. Um, hold me, hold on deck. Um, James, the first chapter, James chapter um one. We started um twenty one and twenty two. Yep. I'm gonna I'm, I'm read. I'm gonna read on. It says on um, Second Chronicles chapter um fifteen verse thirteen. It reads that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. Whether not small or great, whether man or woman, a lot not maybe not might should be put to deletion, man. It doesn't matter if you're a woman, no matter who who it is, man. Yeah, how about you know, wants his people to seek him, man. What he tells now. you, exodus the 20th, yeah, now you see all types of judgments going on in the four corners of the earth, right? The Lord told us, exodus 20. 
have no other gods before him, man. The Lord's right. a jealous power, man. And yet our people are steady provoking you how about Shima was shy, all right, with their, their their offerings to these other idols, man. Still talking about some damn Jeebus, bro. All hell breaking loose, and it's worth a Google when the letter J came into play. It's worth a mm -hmm. Google. You see, it's yep. only, only thing you got to do is say, you know, it's, it's easy as one, two, three. Go on your computer, yep. type in, when did the letter J come into play? And then it'll pop right on up, man. You see? Mm -hmm. I, I do a form, and I'm going to show it on the screen. I'm gonna just It's worth a Google, bro. Uh. It's worth a Google. I'm going to just do it right quick. It's worth a Google. I mean, we do it all the time, but I'm going to just do it right quick. I'm going to show them how easy it is, right? All right. I, I got a preset real quick. Got it, bro. This is got a... It. First Thessalonians chapter three, verse eight. It says, for now we live and we stand fast in the Lord. Back up that Proverbs 21. They that one out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. But here in Thessalonians, the scriptures tell us we're going to live if we stay fast in the Lord, man. Yep. 1524. Everybody can see that, right, bro? Yeah, perfectly clear. And while you was talking, it only took me what, like two seconds to type that in? When did a letter J come into play? It's right here. Until the year 1524, there was no letter J, bro. Okay. So when the Lord said, no, said all those Israelites that are not seeking him, man or woman, no, no matter what your status is, he's going to put your ass to death, man. It's when the information age, the internet, it was created, the World Wide Web, right? Mm -hmm. Everything they smart, they smart when it comes to everything else, but they can research everything else, right? Yep. You know what I'm saying? The, the scripture says our people are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yep. When you want to research and look up the name of your power, man, you see, and see what it really is. So you want to you won't keep pissing them off? Because the scripture says, uh, take, don't take the Lord's name in vain, don't take thy power mm -hmm. in vain, right? That's right. It's like, but but our people want their ass kicked though, right, bro? Yep. I got one more on that seek the Lord um um precept for that. Fine. The rock chapter five, and then we're gonna go right whatever you got in there, uh, whenever you finish what you got, we're gonna go right back to that Ephesians. Fine. So rock chapter five, verse seven, and it reads, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. That's right, man. Turn turning to the Lord it means what? We will we are, we are on the right, the, the wrong path, and we're not on the path of seeking Yahweh by Shai. Right. If we're not turning back to him. We're we're going we're, we're going to our own understanding of things, man. The understanding of man. Right. That's why we have the book Romans fifteen and four. The things were written four times, written for our learning. Our learning. And the scriptures say, "Make no turn to turn to the Lord." You do that through what your actions. Doing a whole one eighty. And then the for, no, I'm just gonna say going. I just add on add lamb backing off what you say, and then going right back to Isaiah thirtieth chapter. It says, this is the way you're going to see bro, your teachers. You bro, holding it. Bro, I was holding it. Look, you read that right quick, bro. You can't make this up, man. You see? Yeah. The Lord commands us to do it his way or no way. See, the Lord's way or no way, man. All right? It ain't right. four or five different ways. The Lord said, you're going to do it this way. I'm going to delete your ass, man. Mm -hmm. the, Lord, the Lord, like, I'm tired of playing with all y'all. You know what I'm saying? He did, a, he did a reset one time already during the flood. He's going to do another reset, bro, during this fire, bro. That fire is going to bring forth another reset, bro. Mm -hmm. You see? And he's yep. going to start fresh with the elect of the nation of Israel. He's going to start everything anew with the elect of the nation of Israel, bro. Mm -hmm. You got it. You said Jeremiah 3? Um, no, um, Isaiah chapter 30. About your yeah. eyes, your see your teachers. Did you have that? Yeah, I mean, uh... what'd you have? Remember, I mentioned um your eyes shall see your teachers. Yeah. You mentioned um uh, going the way um of man is, is the wrong way, but then the Lord sent forth for me to tell you which way to go. If you want to get that right quick for me, um Isaiah yeah. 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean Isaiah 30. I'm 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 looking for. I don't I forgot where it was at. Isaiah 30 and um 20. Yeah, I, I'm looking right at the slot here. Isaiah 30 and 20. Yep. So like it says, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. When you come into yet, this thing of ours, you're going to catch some hell. When mm -hmm. the Lord opens your eyes up to the knowledge, which will understand the scripture. See, that's that's why them pastors got to go, bro. That's why the yep. pastors the got to go, bro. They're telling us that everything's all love, love. You see, you're going to be rich. You're going to be famous. Your life is going to be full <laughs> of tra tranquility. You know what I'm saying? Right. Burn, each and every day. He ain't tell you that you're going to catch some hell. 
You're gonna be That's tempted right. every time you turn around. You're gonna be in, be getting tempted doing something wicked, man. You see? Mm -hmm. You got it. Yep. This is Isaiah thirty and twenty. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Go ahead. But thy eyes shall see thy teachers. Right. So it ain't no excuses no more. There's no excuses. See, we can't make any excuses anymore. The Lord mm -hmm. said he winked at our ignorance, right? When mm -hmm. we ain't know no better. But now we know better. We got to do better. It's going to say he that knoweth to do good and do it and not is unto him as mm -hmm. sin. Mm -hmm. we, we know better now, man. The right. prophets out down the highways and byways. And the Lord said when his word get preached throughout the four corners of the earth, then the end shall come. God. That's why you see people bug the hell out there, bro. The Lord knows saying turning up no spirits quite up for vengeance, man. They're active, bro. You got yeah. it. Yep. In verse 21, uh, Isaiah 30 and 21, thy ears shall hear the word behind thee saying, This is the way. Right. Walk ye in it when you turn to the right hand and when right. you turn to the left. This is the way, following your how well Baha see. We haven't given we have been given the proper name in the Hebrew tongue now. There's no mm -hmm. excuse, I'm saying, for you to be calling on. See, ain't no more excuse, no, bro. You can't call on Allah no more. You can't call on Buddha no more. You can't call on Santa Maria, the Hindu goddess Shiva. You can't call on Jesus no more, bro. Right. Your, te your teachers out there telling you the proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. He is. He exists. Yahweh Shai. He saves. He delivers, man. Those names are out there now, bro. No more excuses, man. You know? Yep. Lord, yep. Lord, you start, start taking leaders out, man. You see? Yep. It's a global heritage to what they're saying. The Israelites are still calling on Jesus, no saying to the Christ, no saying they're gonna have a lightning in them saying to strike their black asses down, bro. Or someone <laughs> say Jesus, a car bird just gonna like, come out of nowhere, no saying just uh, scrape out their damn eyeballs, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna say Jesus, and they'll say no, and they'll cut it in, gonna blow the hell up. You see? They're gonna say Jesus, you know what I'm saying? They'll say no. The ground will open up, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the car will get swallowed by the earth, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got a precept. Oh, you got it, bro. This is uh, Jeremiah uh, 6 and 16. It says, Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways and <laughs> see and ask for the old path. Ask for the old path. Our forefathers, our ancient ways, our, our customs, man. <laughs> you see? What pleased the Lord? What did, what did our forefathers do to make the Lord happy? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We'll stop the we'll stop the wrath of the Lord from coming upon our people. We need to be seeking the old paths, our high holy days. We got our high holy. There's no more excuses. You see, our people know they don't supposed to be celebrating no damn Christmas, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, December the twenty fifth, bro. No saying, oh, they're still celebrating Halloween, right? And, and at the churches, bro. You you know, anytime it come around like October, no saying they be having like the Halloween stuff in the church yard, bro. Yeah, and all in the window. They be having um, uh, spooky uh, costumes at the church window and shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Bro, this shit bugged out right around though, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. The church be celebrating Thanksgiving. <sighs> yep. The deletion of our brothers and sisters, the natives, man. You see? Our people know wrong from right, bro, but they refuse. You see? Mm -hmm. Your eyes going to see your teachers, and they're going to say, this is the way. Walk you in it. But then our people going to say, well, bro. They're going to say, read on. It says, where is the good way? Walk ye therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. Right. But they said, we will not walk therein. Our people like, yo, I don't give a damn what y'all saying. I'm, uh, no, no, I got I got a career to chase. Mm -hmm. I got a bag to chase. No, so you got a whole lot of people saying, what, what is that Bible? What can that Bible do for me right about now? You see? Mm -hmm. Y'all talking something, wait, 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 wait. What is waiting going to do for me? Waiting is going to um, get you saved and delivered. Lord yeah. Willie says, those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Yeah, those that wait on the Lord are waiting for salvation, things of that nature. But our people are in a carnal state of mind, and they've been lied to by these damn pastors. Only thing they worried about is Jam Master J, finding Jam Master J's the leader. You know what I'm saying? Finding two part, just gossiping Israelites, man. Yeah. They ain't worried about the Lord, man. Yeah. You got it. Uh, uh, verse 17, he says, also I have set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we would not hearken. Yeah, we were blowing that trumpet to sound down pretty much warning them. You see, mm -hmm. sounding the alarm, getting them ready for the battle because all hell breaking loose. So they're going to try to seek the Lord when martial law pop off, bro. Yeah, it's going to be too late. They're going to try to seek the Lord when it ain't no food. They're going to try to seek the Lord when the um, grocery stores are being rampaged. Is that the word? Pretty much uh, rampaged. People going up in the stores. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying the wrong word. I'm, I think yeah, I it's um... not rampage, but. 
Storm pretty much storming the stores. Nah, you know I'm saying? I think that's it. Rampage. That's it. Yeah, when the people just you know, looting the stores and all that shit, bro. And it's like they are gonna try to seek the Lord when it ain't no nine one one. Yep. Right. Yep. They gonna they are gonna try to seek. They gonna try to call on the Lord. You know what I'm saying when they in the grocery store and it's a splinter sale up in the grocery store and he's strapped up, bro. And he, and he, and he opened it up like this, bro. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying. Yep. And he got all them things because you know we got a speak of wisdom. And he got all them things on his chest, you know what I'm saying? And he's standing at the damn door. And he got enough, you know what I'm saying? T, 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 you know what I'm saying? It just boom, the whole damn score, you know what I'm saying? And then, they're trying to click on a video and hear us saying, Yeah, how will Baha show? It's going to be too like, boom! Right. It's going to be damn milk, milk every damn thing, damn meat, shit, just take the whole shit, freezer, freezer doors, everything just going to go boom, you know what I'm saying? See, because hey, man knoweth not his time as the birds and the fishes that are caught in the yeah. snare. Uh, so are the sons of men snared in the evil time when it falleth upon them yeah. suddenly, right? Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. it, bro. Hey, look, it, it going to be up in there like, hustle, man. I got what you want. I got what you need, chief. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're going to be up in there with the man to hook them up with the food stamps, bro, right? All right. They're going to be in the meat aisle, bro. They're going to be picking up them damn ham hocks, bro. Yeah, you know what yep, I'm saying? Yep. You know how they damn <laughs> on the damn hand That's how you know no saying they're gonna hear some shit, right, bro? Yep, yep. I got uh that definition of rampage. It says, uh, especially if a large group of people rushed around in a violent and uncomfortable manner. Got it. Hey, it's going back to what you were saying. You know, people could be in a, in, a, in, a, in a state of rampage, man. You know, uncontrollably in a in a violent way. Right. Now I'm just going to add on a prudent man for seeing if they even hide of himself, but the simple passion on and a punish, bro. The Lord is really about to punish our people. Just look, look, his men about to just like, no, they, you think so you think it's going to go well without people that ignore the men of the Lord, man? You, you, you're, actually, you're actually ignoring the Lord, man. Yeah. Going right yeah. back to St. Luke chapter 10, verse 17. The yeah. people that's not taking heed to us, you're really not taking heed to the Lord, man. Yep. So, and, and then the Lord, you know what I'm saying, eventually gets, gets tired of warning you, and he stops warning you, and then comes destruction, bro. Yep. It's like when he had Noah go, go, go up into the ark, you know what I'm saying? The warning was over, bro. Soon come, the warning is going to be over. The Lord's going to have his private tongue cleaved to the roof of their mouth, and then our people going to fucking get deleted off the earth, man. Straight up, man. Yep. I'm going to finish this if I may, bro. Done. So Rock chapter 5, verse 7, and it reads, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. And putting that off from day to day. Yeah, putting that off from day to day. Going back to that Ecclesiastes 9 you quoted. <clears throat> man also know if not his time, man and woman. Right. right. So therefore, you know, knowing these scriptures, and look, why would you take all day to turn back to the Heavenly Father? Right. No, I mean, it, it, we don't know if, you know, our last day on this earth. Why still, play it's still no time soon, bro. Mm-hmm. And like he was going to put, prior to turn the camera on, the Lord could put a spell on you just to, 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 to light yourself up, man. Right. That's what <laughs> put your lighters up. Anyway, <laughs> put your lighters up. No Carolina, put your lighters up. The Lord can actually have you put your light up, man. Yeah, man. Scary. You know what I'm saying? Scary. Come to that Sean Paul shit. Just give me the light. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Dante, <laughs> yeah. The Lord, how you how you give yourself the light, man? Straight up, bro. <laughs> So look, right. you don't want to take me to this glorious light. The Lord had you light your ass, your cell phone fire, man. He'll put a spirit on you, man. You see? Mm. Mm. He'll put a spirit on you. And he had you go, go somewhere in public. He look, he'll have you make the news. Yep. In the news. He'll have you make the news, man. Yep. This is, um, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish <clears> in the day of vengeance. Yeah, and in thy security, things you find comfort in. A lot of these people found comfort in their jobs, their homes, these religions, these false uh, uh, ideologies and, and wine oh. that's out here destroying our people. The Lord's going to pay you a visit in those things. Mm -hmm. man. That's why scriptures tell us Isaiah 33 and 6, the wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times. Yep. This wisdom is all we need. And it starts off with the fear of your how about you, was shy, man. That's right, brother. See, see when, when security goes, fear comes into play. That's right. Don't it, though? You know, yeah. Beautifully said, bro. God. Um, and our people going to be scared as shit, bro. They're going to be running around like fucking, like, um, what is it? Um, <clears throat> like chickens with their heads cut off, bro. You can, bro, yep. you, and our people know how to run, though, right? Bro, they're going to be hauling ass, bro. 
Just like when that dude, you know what I'm saying, ran past Kent. Well, y'all think y'all was on the other side. This dude, you know what I'm saying, was getting chased by this other goon a couple of weeks back. Uh-huh. He ain't passed our camera all in fucking ass, bro. Your <laughs> <laughs> logo had the goons chasing the goons, man. <laughs> you, got, you got all these people trying to show how thug they are, how hard they are. When the logo had the goons chasing the goons, bro. It was a goon mm-hmm. chasing another goon, bro. And this dude was hauling ass, bro. <laughs> bro, we looked down the street, this man was still hauling ass, yo. <laughs> it was like this, bro. All that, and he was looking back to see the dude was still chasing him. Yes, that demon is still chasing you, man. All ass, man. Don't look back, man. Right. This what happens when you want to live that lifestyle. You see? Uh huh. Uh huh. You got it. This is uh First Peter chapter four verse seven. It says, "But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer." Right. And that's the thing. That's, that's what we're telling our people. Look, judgments are happening upon the earth. The Lord's visiting this place. Okay, this place can't be healed. Right. You know, you know, look, judgment is set for this place, man. That's right. The, the end of Edom's reign in the earth is coming to an end. That's right, bro. So as a people, what should we do? Should we watch unto prayer? Mm-hmm. Watching for these prophecies. And praying that Yahweh Shah has mercy upon us. That's right. This is Job chapter. Was that the end of that, bro? This is Job yep. chapter 28, verse 28, and it reads. And I want I want to um go to that Ephesians right quick, bro, and then we'll continue on. Huh. So we're going to knock that out. Job chapter 28, verse 28, and it reads. This is for you, bro. Job huh. chapter 28, verse 28, and it reads. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Yeah, yeah. See, see, that's why I said stand ye in the way in the past or ask for the old ways. Because we understood the fear of the Lord, man. Mm-hmm. That 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 is wisdom. That's right. You know, that's 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 what true knowledge comes into play. Mm-hmm. And the Lord said he's taking pleasure in us fearing him. Yep. Yep. That's to depart from evil is understanding. And to depart from evil. Right, and this this earth is being ran by the evil, by the wicked. All right, it's understanding. But according to this world, evil is is, is righteousness, man. What do them to call good evil and evil good? Right, we have to, we have to depart from uh, 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 thinking it's okay for two men to to lie down together. Cause what Jake say, man, I don't care as long as, as, long as it ain't bothering me. You know that 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 that's that's a mindset that was taught to you. You got to come out of those ways, man. Right. It's high time to awake out of sleep. Salvation nearer than what we believe. Come. Matter of fact, I got a precept for what you just uh, read too. This is Romans chapter one. Just, I'm gonna just hit a point right quick. Romans chapter one. Cause you said people are um, saying, oh, "Look, I ain't got no problem with it." That's them, right? I got a scripture yep. on that. Um, mm-hmm. Romans chapter one. Verse, um, let's see, Romans chapter 1, verse 32, and it reads, yep. Who knoweth the judgment of the Most High? They which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Yeah. Um, they, you, you got it, bro. Yeah, they, back in what, what, what I just said, man. You know, you don't you don't see that problem with it. You're going to receive that same destruction, man. Right. You don't got a problem with it, then you're the problem. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You're the problem. The Lord is establishing a righteousness upon the face of the earth, whether people like it or not, man. You mm-hmm. see? It, it, says, it says, um, faith shall flourish, and, and, and um the truth, it says, faith shall flourish, and corruption shall be overpassed. And truth which has been hid for so long shall be declared, man. So this truth is overcoming this corrupt system, man. That's why they're yep. taking our videos down every time you turn around, bro. They might not even give you a strike, but they'll take your video down. Yep. They've been taking videos down, taking on um, the elder apostles slash elder bishop, the great millstone, the men on down in the affiliates. They've been taking our videos down, you no know saying to look weekly, y'all. But these yep. other like groups, you'll never hear them make a video about their page, you no know saying a oh, video got chicken down. Yeah, I know, right? All them views. I, I I got what you just quoted. Go ahead. The second Ezra chapter six, verse 28. And we're starting to witness. Let me just say this. <laughs> Starting to witness second Ezra the 15th chapter, second Ezra the 16th chapter, second Ezra the ninth chapter, the eighth chapter, the seventh chapter, this the sixth chapter. You see what I'm mm-hmm. saying? 
all of those are taking place now, and look, it's, it's going to turn up. You yep. got it. The second Ezra chapter 6, verse 27 says, For evil shall be put out, and the seat shall be quenched. See? Evil's uh, in, and what's going to make that happen? Judgment. Yep. Judgment. The Lord's judgment. Just like evil was put out, you know what I'm saying, thousands of years ago during Noah's time. Mm -hmm. We'll put the evils out of the earth back then, thousands of years ago, the flood. Yep. We're still put evils out, you know what I'm saying, in these times, the fire. Fire. You see? And then, Lord, when we of that hopeful number, you know what I'm saying, come out of the chariots with Lord Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? You see? Um, get rid of the rebels. You know what I'm saying? Wherever we get rid of them, that Lord, whether we of that number, then right after that, you know what I'm saying? Go around, you know what I'm saying? And gather all the heathens throughout the four corners of the earth and round them up, bro. You see? Mm -hmm. I put them in slavery, man. You see? Mm -hmm. Yep. You got it. Come on. This is the second address at the six, verse 28. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And yeah, faith, truth. faith is starting to flourish now. You got Israelites throughout the four <laughs> corners of the earth starting to believe in this word. Yeah, believing in Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahusha, believing in things that they haven't even seen yet. They believe that fire is gonna hit Babylon. They believe that the chariots are gonna pull up. They believe that martial law is gonna pop off. They believe that um the hour of temptation, this devil is gonna make it mandatory that you take an implantable device. Faith is starting to flourish now. Believing in this word, you see. Yep. People starting to believe the Negroes, Latin, the Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners, they're starting to believe that they're the biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. Corruption, mm -hmm. and all them lies, brothers, has been promoted, no sense, for hundreds of years, man. You see? Of mm -hmm. being overcome by the truth, bro. Nobody, the majority, the whole fuck ain't believing in that BS no more, bro. Right. They're not believing in um the blackness, the black culture, and all that, you know what I'm saying? They're not, they're not believing in Scientology, Egyptology, Mormonism, um, um, uh, what's that one? Catal um, catalysm, Catholic, uh, something like that. It's still something. Come on, Catholicism. Yeah, Catholicism. I people ain't believing in that BS no more, man. The whole for less, bro. Why? Cause faith in the Bible is starting to flourish now. Faith in Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Look, the color of the Lord. His, his, his mannerism, what he likes, what he don't like, all the above, bro. Oh yeah, our people you know what I'm saying um are starting to um have faith that the Lord sent forth his true prophets too. You see what I'm saying? Scripture you say your eyes gonna see your teachers and starting to believe in the um the teachers that the Lord set up. Because remember the apostle Paul said, Be be ye followers of me, me, even as I am of your Howard Shai. You see, Shai, yeah. So, so the people on the earth they gotta follow somebody. Mm -hmm. The Lord set up leaders for our people to follow. Bro. So you go follow somebody, man. You see, That's and right. you, you gotta make sure you're following the right person, though. Because remember, going right back to Malachi, it says the Lord going to give you the spirit. He's going to put the spirit on you to return. Then he's going to give you the spirit of discernment to see um, you follow, bro. Yep. Right. You got it. Yep. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter uh, 6, verse 28. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And right. the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Right, look, corruption shall be overcome now. You know what I'm saying? Um, the hopeful let know that those small hats are not the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. They know that they're the rats now. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. them, them dudes talk, them dudes push for lies for, man, forever, man. <laughs> they know that they're the wicked, according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. We know there's no such thing as a Chinese man or a Japanese man. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> or a Hawaiian man. Or a black man, native man, Latin man, all that proverbs about a covering cast was gonna put over all the nations, man. You see, right? How are the things of Esau um, um sought out? First out. Yep. The Lord's revealing everything now, bro. Yep. You got it. That's why. That's oh. why. That's why. That's why you got Israelites that may look like a, um, a so-called white man with faith, right? Yep. You got an Israelite that may look like a um a Chinese, Japanese, an Arab. You know what I'm saying? So far, so on, having faith because they're the Israelites, man. That's right. Just, just um, they they was um pretty much put in a foreign land. Mm -hmm. It may look like the foreigners. You see what I'm saying? But it's the Israelite through the seed yep. through their forefathers, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Yeah, I got a quick precept. Yep, yep. Roll them out. Roll them out. Because it said, uh, it said in um, chapter six, evil shall be put out. This is Isaiah 30 and 13. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. Right. Swelling out in that high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. Which hey, look, which goes back to making no terror and turn to the Lord, too. Right. Because judgment comes suddenly. You know, I just want to hit hit that point. Yeah, I, I people made an agreement with this devil, you know what I'm saying, bro? 
But 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 the Lord going and my phone chimed in. I'm saying, but the Lord going. Oh, and the scripture say, um, though hand it says that um, you join hands with the devil, you're gonna be thrust through with the sword. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yep. I got one right quick. Proverbs thirteen twenty one. Uh, evil pursue of sinners. Yeah, bad times. Pursue of sinners. What is sins? Transgressing the law, which is part of that covenant that we agreed to uphold mm -hmm. as a people. The Lord said, look, I'm giving you this to, to make you stand out amongst the nations, to be the people that, oh, ah, oh, look at look at that nation, man. They're such a great people. Mm -hmm. But what our people do, we steady breaking it. That's why the heathen like, yo, this is this, this is the nation. Right. This is the children of the Lord. You gotta be kidding me. You chose these, 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 these cockroaches over us. These zombies, <laughs> these zombies. <laughs> right. So evil, pretty much bad times are pursuing our people, bro. Mm -hmm. The Lord getting them too, bro. It says yep. evil pursue sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. Yeah, but to the righteous, good, all right, favor, mercy is going to repay to uh, the righteous, man. Mm -hmm. Because during this grace period, the righteous got their spirits right. They're at right with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. They clean up their garments, man. Right. You got it. Let's let's let's, uh, let's get let's finish that um that Ephesians right quick, bro. I still had that James too. I think he had yeah James. yeah bring, yeah bring it out right quick, bro. That James one. Yeah. Come. <laughs> um, this is James one and nineteen. It says, "Wherefore, my beloved brethren, uh, James one and twenty one. Yeah. Says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness." But you saw, you no know, saying when nineteen what was that nineteen? It, it goes. It's talking to the Israelites. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? The scripture of James, though, saying was talking to the Israelites, man. Yep. You get one and one first. Con, yep. This is James one and one. This is a James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. This Lord to Yahweh Shai's brother, you know what I'm saying? You got it. Says to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. Right. So, the, so, so James, you know what I'm saying? The apostle James was talking to the Israelites, all right? No other nation, man. So just stop it, man. Stop mm -hmm. saying this Bible is for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's for the Israelites. It was written by the Israelites for the Israelites, man. All right? And the Israelites, <laughs> they don't take heed to it. We'll be deleted from the face of the earth. Plain, man. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yep. This is James 1 and 21. It says, wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. Right, just out here just doing too much. And you see how people into that, bro. They're just doing too much of everything. The Lord said, get away from that nightness. Um, it, it abstain from all the appearance of evil. Mm -hmm. You you don't even want you don't even want yourself um to even look like you're doing anything evil. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Abstain from all the appearance of evil. Go ahead. Yep. It says, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able yeah. to stay. Now we're gonna say and receive with humbleness because yep. the Lord resists a proudful person. Because you see, when we out there on the highways and byways, our people come up all proud, bro, like they know something already. The Lord said, When you come up to my service teaching the words, teaching the B I B L E, the 100% truth according to the Bible, you need to come up meek, you need to come up humble because you damn sure don't know nothing. All right? right, you got it. Yep, it says, Which is able to save your souls. And that's what we're telling our people. Take heed to the words of your Hawa Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, because this can um, actually get you delivered. You got to be part of the elect, of course. But taking heed, you no know sense. See, not taking heed to it, what you think is going to happen? If you're not taking heed to the word, if taking heed to the word is able to deliver your soul, what's going to happen to the Israelites that are not taking heed to the word, bro? See that's what I'm right. saying? That's right. Yep. Boo boo for us, by us. That's right. Foo boo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got it, bro. This is James 1 and 22. It says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Yeah, we got to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability. We got to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability. Faith without works is dead. Even though we up on a grace right about now, we still got to yeah. rehearse the righteous acts. That shows faith right there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You say, don't eat pork, damn it. Don't eat pork. Now, who knows what this devil's actually putting out meat, but you're not going to go to the store and see this um, the word actual pork right. meat, you know what I'm saying, and get it. Know what I'm saying? Right. You know? Right. Things of that nature, man. Oh, look, just read, Israel. Read what the Lord wants you to do and what he don't want us to do. It's right there, man. You see? Yep. 
And don't just be a hearer of the word, you're a doer also. See, see, all of us gotta make our elect uh, what do you say? Um, you gotta um what's that word, bro? Oh, yeah, you gotta be fully persuaded in your own mind, and yeah. all of us gotta make our calling an election, sure. Two different scriptures, you know. Yeah, yeah, you got it. This is James 1 and 22, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, right. deceiving your own selves. Right. Scriptures they don't get lined up, don't mark the corners of your beard, don't get bald heads. Now, if you're naturally bald, then there's something different. But don't just right. go to the damn barber shop and get an onyx. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> attack of the bald heads. Attack, <laughs> attack of the. Come on, now. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got a full beard, but that's saying no. You want a different job, so you get a full man chew. You get a damn motorcycle. You know what I'm saying? So you can get a new job. The company is offering you a new position in the building <laughs> or whatever. But they're like, yo, you gotta, you gotta um, have that look of a businessman. So you gotta cut it down some and all that, man. No, man, get you another job, but just keep the position that you got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, conform not to, to the ways of this world. So we're being uh, raised um, pretty much we're performing for kingly ship. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is raising us to be um, righteous judges. You know what I'm saying? Done. Uh. When it went through the um, the Lord, that's that's why we was raised the way we was raised. You know what I'm saying, getting into all kind of nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Then the Lord is showing us the right way, so we know both sides of the coin. You see, we know what happens. You know what I'm saying when we're doing the wrong thing, we know what happens when you're doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You can't have one without the other because you're not going to appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? You got um, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. This is Sirach 27 and 9. It says, The birds will resort unto their light. So will truth return unto them that practice in her. That's why the scriptures say, um, What then Israel have not obtained that which you seek it for? Before. But the election have Back obtained it. And the rest were blinded. So mm -hmm. truth is going to return back to the men. You no know saying there was all there was given to from the beginning. You no know saying yeah. before yep. the kid was even um, put on the earth. You no know saying uh -huh. it was given the truth. They come down and preach the truth. That's who the truth is going to return back to. You see, uh, that was it on that. So so everybody ain't speaking the truth according to the Bible because everybody wasn't giving the truth. <laughs> Especially right. the one hundred percent truth according to the Bible, and then the scriptures say no lies are the truth. So you can be speaking the truth, but then as soon as you throw a lie in there, guess what? It ain't the truth no more. You got to start fresh. You got to take that notebook paper. You no, know saying you got to ball it up and throw it away and start fresh. Bring out another sheet of paper, man, and start over, man. Yep, you got it. Uh, that was it on that. Let's go back to the Ephesians right quick. Get that out of the way. Come. Okay. We're gonna fluff a little bit. How long we been going? Forty-two um, minutes. We'll probably go. We'll probably go uh, an hour, bro. And then we're gonna wrap it up. Done. This is Ephesians five and um fourteen says, "Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give thee light." And you know how people are dead out there, bro. We see them each and every day, bro. They are dead as hell, bro. So they go to the grocery store. The first hour they go to, bro, is the hour where the pork chops at, right? Yep. It's a person is dead right there, right, bro? Yep. Shrimp, crab, lobsters. I people love that damn shrimp, though, bro. They hold the shrimp. Dude, when you go to them on um, the Instagram, bro, <coughs> that people be putting up. You see them hold. It. They are. Uh, they they uh, fix them like some shrimp. You know what I'm saying? And they have it on something. Else. They think they're doing it big, though, right, bro? They yeah, hold that little little shrimp. You know what I'm saying? On the damn spoon and shit. Like yo, the Lord gonna delete you if you don't turn back. The word is out there. Everybody knows who they are. You see? You see how people rocking chains and things of that nature, braces and stuff like that. They've been watching the Hebrew Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. so you know them, so yep. you're gonna be beaten with many stripes. You know what I'm saying? Because you knew better. The Lord said you didn't know better. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be beaten with few stripes, but you're still gonna get beat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you, but you knew that you was an Israelite, and you knew what the Lord required us to do. You're gonna be beaten with many stripes. It's mm -hmm. not a game, man. It's the King of Terrors that we, we're bringing a message from. You see? Right. You got it, bro. Huh. This is um, Ephesians five and um, fifteen. It says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. So we got to be paying attention to what's going on. We got to be keeping up with current events. We got to know what's going on in our city, the different um, bills and legislations that they're passing. Like in D.C., they're getting ready to pass a law to where only two people can be together. Yep. And if they, if, if, uh, if they even, you ain't got to look like you're doing nothing, but if they deem y'all, you know what I'm saying, doing something, or even think about doing something, you, look, you're going downtown. Yep. See what I'm saying? They can look, bro. They can say you doing something, and they can take you downtown. See, mm -hmm. this shit is gonna—it's gonna be martial law, bro. Yeah. Those draconian um laws, bro. Get ready to come yep. down. You see? Yep. 
And all and, and, and that's why this place has to go because this man does not uphold righteousness of, of Yahweh about you know shy. Right. That man's bearing false witness when he does that, man. Yep. You know. He's really he's really doing it for the men of the Lord to be out there on the highways and byways. But if we have to, that's why the Lord got brothers studying up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we have to go out there two and two. The Lord say he's sending them out there two and two anyway. So yep. if it have to be two brothers on that corner, hey, if it have to be two brothers on that corner, hey, that corner, <laughs> that corner. Look, look, man, let's let's go, man. Raising hell. <laughs> we can split it up, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna that's gonna um uh, bring in more um and hopefully elect members anyway. And it's mm -hmm. gonna make the um the word you know what I'm saying get get more um heard pretty much. Yep. It's like Elder Apostles <laughs> Hard been saying for years there should be Israelite groups on every corner. Mm -hmm. Going to get it. So if this devil say only two brothers can preach, you know what I'm saying, together, then let's get it then. Let's get it. The Lord had all of us get signs anyway. <clears throat> That's right. And everybody got cameras. Everybody got tripods. Let's go, devil. <laughs> Lord already got us prepared for this day. You know what I'm saying? For this devil to come here, bro. We're already ready to bring it out. You see? Mm -hmm. Cry loud, spare not. Lift up your voice like trumpets. The Lord already got us prepared for that, man. You see? Right. So bring it, devil. That's right. Oh, what, what did the Lord say, bro? You can do nothing against the truth but for it, right? For the truth, yep. You got it. Yep, this is uh, Ephesians 5. Oh, yeah, it says, it says walk circumspectly, so we got to be paying attention to the new laws that this man's passing. His whole system, and then when we walk in circumspectly, when we go into the grocery store, we're looking around, oh, shit, man. Shit, that, oh, that's how you can pay with stuff now? We're starting to see, bro. We go to the car wash. We go to the bank, you know what I'm saying? We go to these different restaurants, the ones that we do go to every now and then. You know what I'm saying? <clears> if we out and about, and we far away from the crib, then we might go to a restaurant. You got want to say something, bro? Yeah, it's a spot here. The spot we went to. Oh, yeah. Went, yeah, it, yeah. It, was a, it was a sign up that said, no, no, not taking cash. Uh, you could trade your cash in for these tokens. See what I'm saying, bro? So we're here now. Then we yeah. went to Saturday, right? Yeah, yep, yep. I didn't even see that. Yeah. So it's like now, now <clears throat> certain spots are like, yo, we, we ain't even taking cash no more, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. you want to come in here, you know what I'm saying? You got to have a credit card for right now. Yep. And soon come, they're going to say, oh, you got to have that C hip. You know what I'm saying? You want to mm -hmm. enter into this store. Yep. They're trading tra tra your cash in for coins, right? Mm -hmm. That's how they're doing it at, at the laundry mats, too, bro. You can't well, even use cash at the laundry mats either. Yeah. It's like it's like a token card type thing. But oh, yeah. Same thing. Just like, just like the laundry mat. Yeah. You take your cash, you know what I'm saying? You put it into this slot machine, you know what I'm saying? They send you a card, you know what I'm saying? You take all your money, you know what I'm saying? You put it in, you put your number in there, and it'll go back on your card, you know what I'm saying? That's how you wash clothes. Yeah. I went to the laundry mat years ago, you know what I'm saying? I had to get a card. The, the, none of the laundry things would take coins or dollars, bro. Mm -hmm. You had to use that damn card. So everything is going digital, man. You see? <clears throat> hey, hey, real fast, like the scripture says, yeah. and, um, is it Sirach 5 and 15, be not ignorant of anything in a small or great matter. Because these things are leading up to something, man. Right. Is that our temptation? That's right, bro. We shall come upon all the world. I get that. I get so when you finish that, I get that. Come. So back in think, I know what you're gonna say, bro. Our people think everything's a damn joke. They think the Lord got us doing these lessons each and every day for for, for, for none of um for void, it's gonna go void. Yeah. These words gonna go out void, man. Right. Everything they were saying according to the Bible will eventually come to pass, whether you like it or not. And you're not and see reality is starting to kick in too, bro. Reality yep. is starting to kick in, bro. You got it. Come. This is the book of uh, Ephesians, chapter five, verse sixteen. Redeeming the times, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, man. Hell yeah, the hell yeah, the days are evil. You got people offering themselves at an alarming rate. You got people that look, man. People that pressure, man. <laughs> People are stressing <laughs> hell out, bro. Going right back to um second Ezra the eighth chapter, verse um 50. The Lord said, Misery. When you look up that word misery, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty much people are being afflicted. Um, mm. um, what's what's that other word? Anxiety. Yeah, you go to the definition of anxiety, it's pretty much um pretty much your, your body and your mind. You see, yeah, you got it. You know, it's it's real fast, it's funny how um you know Esau studies you, man. Yeah. And it was a study show that people who watch the same thing over and over and over have a high case of, of anxiety Dang. because they know they know the outcome of it. But see, with this this ending outcome, these people not ain't gonna know. 
So you can imagine their anxiety levels through the roof when Jacob's trouble hits, man. Mm -hmm. Through the damn roof, bro. <laughs> They're gonna be sweat. They're gonna be sweating. You know what I'm saying their heart gonna be beating all fast. Boom, 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 boom. They're gonna be losing this whole time, bro. Mm -hmm. Brother got it right here. I'm gonna read this right quick, bro, if I may. Oh, come, come. Ezra chapter eight, verse fifty, and it reads: "For many great miseries shall be done to them." Can you get a definition for misery, bro? Yeah, yeah. I never pad for some reason acting up. Nance yeah. acting, look, Nance acting right. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> one minute, say, I, mean, I, I get it for you, bro. Okay, come. I'm gonna read this off the off the board one more time, though. I get I get the definition for misery. My pad come. was acting up, but Nance acting right. Um, I read this for you, though. Second Ezra chapter eight, verse fifty, and it reads: "For many great miseries shall be done to them that in a lot of time shall dwell in the world." Yep, this is great. It says for many. It's talking about your Israelites, man. All right. I mean, this message is for for you know the heathen as well, but mainly for you Israelites. Many great miseries are going to be done to you in the world in the, in the latter times, which we're living in, because you have walked in great pride. Right. All right. And pride is not. It, it wasn't made for man. It wasn't. It wasn't made for man. The scriptures tell you. Mm -hmm. All right. And it it takes you away from your how about you all shy. Because you giving yourself all the credit for everything you've accomplished, the right. things you've done. Oh yeah, misery, a state of great suffering and want due to poverty or misfortune. Yeah, because you people are not suffering right. The, the men and Lord are suffering now. The ones that are turning back to you, how about you? I'll shout suffering. All right, you gonna get your flip of the coin. It's gonna be mm -hmm. time for you to suffer, man. All right, for you to go without. And the thing about it, we're suffering with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, though. So, so even though we're suffering, our mind is still stable to the point so we, we're not bugging the hell out. Right. These people are going to actually, but hell, they bugging out now, bro. Mm -hmm. I know mad people; they bugging the hell out right about now, bro. Don't know what the hell going on, man. They ain't got no damn bed in their damn house or nothing, bro. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They, they, oh. gotta, they gotta move in every damn thing, bro. You know, it's funny because it's it's a uh, it's people that be on these like little TikToks and they be like, yeah, I just had just enough money to get this apartment. I ain't got no furniture. I ain't got nothing. But I got me an apartment though. Damn. <clears throat> so they, they show them like sleeping on the floor and shit. <clears throat> See? See? But the miseries are going to get worse. Right. I got They're a different. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead, bro. No, slacky, slacky. No, you got it. You got it. You got it. No, I was gonna say, and then, and then think, think about food. Uh, hey. Back here, uh, some few months ago, um, I don't know if it was the, uh, the brother or Ra, uh, put up a video or article about uh, people gonna have to choose between he uh, uh, heat and food. Yep, heat and eat. Heat and eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a reality that you people gonna have to face soon. Come, man. You got it. Oh yeah, um, another definition for misery is um, anxiety. Anxiety is a feeling of fear, dread, and un uneasiness. You see, a little, little, little of mind pretty much stressed out, a little, little getting no rest. You're restless. They're saying you're sweating. They're saying you see you tent, you tensed up. Oh yeah, um, what a rapid, um, a rapid heartbeat. Yeah, and all these things are going to do is going to increase your wicked cravings. You know. You're gonna need more blunts, you're gonna need more cigarettes, Dang. you're gonna need you're gonna need more things to take away. So long as you know, uh, you know, it, it look it, it's gonna increase those wicked cravings, man. And the Lord's gonna oh, yeah, take bro, those they, things. I was gonna say, bro, they, they're gonna need more on um, prescriptions, their prescriptions gonna run out. The script the prescriptions gonna eventually run out, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dang, look, 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 sober. Oh, reality, because reality has to kick in eventually, bro. Because huh. the dream is turning into a nightmare. That's what it is, bro. The dream, this dream is turning into a damn nightmare, bro. Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture been told us. This ain't our rest. We're not, we're right. not putting all our stock, all our eggs into this basket. We're putting it into Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah, you see? Yeah. Got it, bro. Yeah, Isaiah 30 tells you that. I got a precept. Got it. <clears throat> this is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. We're going to do about five that, more minutes, bro, and then we're going to wrap it up. It says uh, that knowing the time, 
that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation near than when we believe. Right. Yeah, so <clears throat> scripture's telling us that now is how we know now because we're seeing uh Habakkuk 2 uh play out. It starts mm -hmm. seeing these prophecies pray out. You know, though it tarry, wait for it because it shall surely come and shall not tarry. You know, the this the, the uh C hip is here, all right. You know, World War Three is pretty it's pretty much here, man. Yeah, we're in the beginning stages. Yeah, I mean, would, would you want uh, um, Weekend at Bernie's to get on the, the podium and tell you that uh, we are in World War Three? I no, know, man. Right, bro? You can see it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, bro, pretty much they're gonna wait. They're gonna wait to the um, to the um, the damn people. You know, saying the girl shoes uh, coming out the damn plane, land on top of their houses, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna believe what the prophet was saying, right, bro? Yep, yep. They gotta hear Bush somebody week. walking on top of their damn roof first, though, right, bro? Done. Wasn't that Bush? Get down, get down, get down. <laughs> then they're gonna know that a prophet had been among them, bro. Yep. Open that damn door. Open that door. And they say, no, they're saying, look, look, take this device, they're saying, or get in this damn truck. Then they're gonna know mm -hmm. that a prophet had been among them, right? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> it says verse 12, Romans 13 and 12. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. Right. Yeah. You this know, the night. This you word. Got you got it. Yep. You got it. Oh, not nah, Esau Edom's uh, 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 rule ship is the night. It's coming to an end. All right. And and the light, which is Yahweh Shai, his kingdom is coming forth, man. Right. And you see, and you see it with his men on the highways and byways, prophets, all our head apostles and elders of great mills on the down, letting you know what time it is, man. Yeah, the only way our people are gonna be able to fight off the wiles of the devil is having this armor light, which is his word. This this say if you don't got this word, you're gonna bug out eventually. You're gonna what we're seeing here, bro. Everybody that doesn't believe in how Baha Shim Yahushai eventually bugs the hell out, bro. Yeah, literally, bro. Everybody, man. That's why that's why you gotta build up on you gotta be um rooted. You know what I'm saying? Your foundation, you know what I'm saying, gotta be, you gotta be pretty much concrete. It has to be your house shy, man. Your mm -hmm. foundation, remember, the um, scriptures tell you if you build your um, foundation upon sand, that house gonna fall. And great mm -hmm. is that fall of that house, you see? Mm -hmm. I got something right quick. Second, <laughs> those are finished with that, bro. Uh, yeah, uh, real fast, you may think about something. Look at those beach houses, man. They be like, when you know, the storms come, they wipe them out, man. Right. And a storm is showing up coming them judgments. It's getting ready to get bad out here, man. The Lord's gonna eventually take take the men of the Lord off the streets, bro. Yep. Our people ain't been taking no notes, they ain't been praying. Oh, bro, we're um <laughs> I'm gonna read this for you, and I guess we'll end it off with um St. Luke, the 21st chapter. I mean, it's many other schools that we could have brought out, but for yeah. time, you gotta go to work. I gotta go to work in the morning, so you know. Yeah, well, I'm just never really getting off, relaxing. So you know, when you just just throw this out here for the whole for like, it's, it's not a game, man. That's right. It's really popping off. Everything that the Lord said was going to pop off is actually popping off right now. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, famines, um, uproars of the people. You had this, you still got that situation going down, going down there at the border. Hey, one of them, um, one of them, um, so called illegal immigrants came to my damn job yesterday, bro. Yeah, everywhere, bro. Oh, one of them split a cell, so they're everywhere now, man. They're everywhere, yep. You see, yep. Yeah, that's why the Lord said, when you in your security, you're gonna be destroyed. You might be at the grocery store, you know what I'm saying? You look, you, you ain't even thinking about the Lord. Here, here you go, wrath. You might be at school, you ain't thinking about the Lord, wrath. You might be at work, you ain't thinking about the Lord, wrath. No matter where you at, you might be at the damn park, bro, wrath. Yep. Suddenly shall a wrath come upon you in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed, man. This is the only way out. Taking heed to the word is the only way out, bro. Being delivered right. out of the cell hole by Lord Yahweh Shai is the only way out. That's right. Second Edge chapter 16, verse uh, I'm gonna just hit some points. Second Edge chapter 16, verse 33, and it reads, The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. <clears throat> That's right, these young women are gonna, gonna go mourn, right. Not having any bridegrooms, man. Why? Because these guys are gonna be shipped off, man. They're gonna be used in this upcoming World War Three, right? And they and, and they they're not coming back home, man. That's right. Hey, and they're gonna be getting deleted during the race wars, the class <laughs> wars, the civil wars. You see, when it's time to go out there and get some food, you got to get it. <clears throat> 
to live. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You, the women ain't gonna be out there, you no know saying, trying to gather up food. They're gonna they're gonna use that man to do it, and then that man gonna go out there try to get that food, and he ain't gonna return home. That's right. And, and you already know what it is. Then mm-hmm. you already then, then you pray now. You see? <clears throat> That's right. It says the virgin meaning in women of a marriageable age. Mm-hmm. The scriptures told the scriptures commanded our women. It says it says, um, I, I was therefore that the younger women marry. marry. But the younger women just want to shake their ass and twerk all day. You know what I'm saying? On the Instagram, yep. on the on yep. the on the um what's that other one I be saying? Insta thought, no, nah, not insta thought. Um, tick thought, tick tock. You know what I'm saying? You know, tick thought, fake book, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nobody don't everybody gonna want to do what the scriptures say when all hell break loose instead of doing it now. You should be trying to get <laughs> to do it now. Like us yep. rehearsing the righteous acts, we're doing that now. You ain't gonna wait to all hell break loose to try to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, to try yeah. to fear the Lord. You do that now, man. Mm-hmm. That, that, that shows your faith too. You see what I'm yep. saying? And that yep. shows the Lord that you won't faking it the whole time. <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get deleted, bro, just faking it out here, man. Trying to mm-hmm. fake it until they make it. You <laughs> see? It says, it says, um, the verdict, yeah, I know, right, bro. The verdict shall mourn having mm-hmm. no bridegroom. The women shall mourn having no husbands. They said it twice. You see, women gonna be in trouble in these days, man. Damn. You know that's why Isaiah four and one is gonna be uh it's gonna be a, a a heavy thing in these times, man. It'll be a nail biter, ain't it? Yeah, man. Look, and and that that, that that's crazy to show you the power of the Lord, man. Because can you, can you imagine now? You have another Assad chick. These women go crazy. They they they'll, they'll fight you. They'll fight the side chick. They'll you bust know? the windows to your car. <laughs> you exactly. know all that other madness, right? <laughs> but 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 in, that, but in that day, it's gonna you you either get down or fucking lay down. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna That's be it. nobody ain't running their mouth in that day, bro. They ain't running your mouth to so get used to not running your mouth now. Because uh-huh. in that day, you're not gonna be running your mouth. You see? Come. That stomach is gonna touch that back soon. Come for real, for real, right? Somebody's gonna be eating them and everything, bro. Said so the script said they're gonna mourn, bro. They're gonna be in a pitiful case, man. Mm-hmm. They abused the ways of the Lord when they, when they had yet had liberty. Had liberty. Despise the words of the Lord. Despise the men that the Lord sent forth. You see, talk shit about them. Won't nobody mm-hmm. else want them. Won't nobody else, you no know, saying, teaching them the proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly mm-hmm. Father and His only begotten Son. Yep. Nobody else, you no know, saying, repent, turn back, remorseful, and sorrowful for all your wrongful thoughts, sins, and doings in this life and in your former life. But those, the men that are doing that, those are the men that you love to hate, right? Yep. Nobody else ain't telling you that this devil's getting ready to come in like a flood. He's going to make it mandatory that you take an implantable device, you and your damn babies, in order to mm-hmm. buy his in order to get some pamphlets, some damn um, whatever, you know what I'm saying, that's out there at that time, you see? Because food mm-hmm. is going to be scarce in that day, man. Yep. Shit, you go into those end-time privacy moves, men with busting women heads up to the white meat. You ain't getting none of this food, but a situ- look at the lions when they eat, you know what I'm saying? The damn male lions eat, bro. Yeah, that female try to come over there and get some of that food. That, that male lion up, take that damn paw. I'm saying, you know what it'll do. I'm saying, and that damn female lion, I'm saying, that lion will go over there and sit ass down and wait till that lion is finished. What he's doing, you see what I'm saying? Yep, it's gonna be way worse than that, bro. Yeah. They might not even get nothing to eat. They might be protected, but they might not even get nothing to eat. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit's gonna get bad. It says, um, their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. Uh-huh. And in the wars, shall their bridegrooms be destroyed? Yep, and the wars and, and, and upcoming uh, class wars, uh, 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 you know, um, skirmishes is going to happen. You know, here in America, it's going to get bad for you, uh, you uh, independent women out here. It's going to get bad for the men too. Right. You know, the scriptures say that uh, 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 you know Jeremiah thirty had. Um, um, matter of fact, let me get it real quick. I'm screw it up. Shit, because even, even in second, it was the 15th chapter says men shall be afraid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, it's gonna get scary out here. It's gonna get bad out here. People windows are gonna be getting busted. You got somebody trying to come in the front door. You got somebody trying to come in the back door. You gonna have somebody trying to come in the damn windows, all the above. And while you inside, I'm saying somebody gonna be outside stealing your damn car. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, bro? Or either no saying stealing the gas out that bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's scary to get wild out here, man. <laughs> Straight up, man. One thing you're gonna hear is your damn car windows outside just getting busted the hell open. You know what I'm saying, right, bro? Mm-hmm. Then you're gonna hear yep. bad outside just talking, you know what I'm saying? And they know you in there because the first thing they're gonna say, we know you in there, bitch. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> bro, you know how these niggas can get, bro. You see? <laughs> right. It says, uh, Jeremiah 36. They're going to be thinking on the side of the damn wall of the house and every damn thing, bro. Mm -hmm. If yep. you ain't got the Lord, and if the Lord don't send a spirit, no saying, um, to protect you, you out of there, man. Straight yep. up. If the Lord yep. don't send a spirit, no saying, or one of his servants, no saying, to come and get you out of that house to come protect you, no saying, for the people that's outside, like, like a brother just pop up from out of nowhere, no saying, and just start throwing motherfuckers to the sun, so to speak, no saying, right. While they outside, you know what I'm saying? They about to come in your house, you know what I'm saying? That's saying the Lord is sending one of his servants there. Because you praying. You look, you look, you've been praying the whole time. You know what I'm saying? You've been fearing your how about the whole time. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is saying, the Lord said, I ain't gonna never forsake you. Yep. Going right back to um Sirach 2 and 10. Gotcha. See, he never forsook an Israelite that was actually calling on him. Yep. See, you got it. Hey, Sirach 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that feared him and delivered them. Yep. You know, we better, we better fear the Lord. Yep. Because the Lord said, all of us going to be in the midst of this shit, man. We're all going to be in the midst of it, man. You see? Lord willing, we'll continue to have that hedge of protection, though, right? That's right. Lord willing. Is a uh, real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Jeremiah 30 and 4. I'm sorry, 6. It says, Ask ye now and see whether do a man travail with child? Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces turned to pelvis? Yeah, hands on their loins, no saying scared to damn death, man. Yep. Hold, hold, it, hold it in their damn midsection, no saying, Probably mm -hmm. holler, hooping and hollering, no saying, bro. Yep. Going through it like a woman in travail, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I got a daughter, no saying, my mother's, or my daughter's mother, no saying, said, said it felt like she was about to give up the spirit, man. <coughs> You see yep. what I'm saying? And, and the Lord said, this is what men are going to be looking like. How much How much more that weaker vessel of women? She going to get real, man. Straight up. Yep. But, but matter of fact, you can read on, bro. Yep. Verse 7. It says, Jeremiah 30 and 7, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. And it's even a time of Jacob's trouble. Did you, did you read the verse where um, all faces turn into paleness? Yeah, I'll read it again. Yeah, read it again, bro. This is Jeremiah 30 and 6. It says, Ask ye now and see whether do a man do a travail with child right wherefore do i see every man with his hands on his loins like, like, like men was going through birth pain jeremiah say look like <coughs> birth pains look like men was getting ready to uh, go into labor bro yep. you know what i'm saying you see the one uh, 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 you know what i'm saying yep, yep. Anytime you see a woman going into labor, she's she, 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 she just out of there. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. She wants some relief, bro. <laughs> it, the pain is so unbearable. She yeah. wants some release. She wants that baby to come, man. <clears throat> going through yep. so much agony and pain and shit like that. Misery. Yep. You got it, bro. Yep. It reads on Jeremiah 30 and 6. It says, as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. Yeah, and you you go back to the cartoon <laughs> characters, no saying anytime they turn pale, no saying aka a white, no saying they were scared to damn death. No saying it won't no laughing, no saying they just freeze up. A whole lot of people just gonna freeze up, bro. They're gonna be so damn they're gonna freeze up, bro. Bro, they're not gonna be able to run a fucking nothing, bro. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> it, it's funny, but it's true. Right. It's true, man. It says, verse 7, oh. alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. A.K.A. the elect. Mm -hmm. Jacob's trouble represents you, Nicholas, Nicholas, <laughs> but the elect is going to be saved out of it. And it's going right. to be so bad, bro, going right back to Daniel, the 12th chapter, verse 1. Um, Lord, your, your Howard by is going to have to send um, the, um, the head archangel, Michael. Bro. Michael. Bro, bro, it's going to get that bad, bro. Yep. Man. Mm -hmm. I'll read this right quick. So Rock 33 and 1, there shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord. But mm -hmm. so like it, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. Yep. And temptation, right? The hour of temptation. The Lord's going to deliver us. Because temptation is to do something off, to do something wrong. Yep. You're doing yeah. wrong. <laughs> You're doing wrong. <clears throat> That's right. Yeah, Isaiah 13 right and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir, right? Which is the, the, the most precious gold there is, man. Right. That we know about. Right. <laughs> you know? 
And you go into that definition for the word precious to mean valuable. You know what I'm saying? Something, something, something is actually priceless. So the men of the Lord are gonna be priceless. If if a hopeful elect woman do happen to find a man of the Lord in that day when all hair breaking, she gonna know that's the best thing that could have ever happened to her. You know what I'm saying? She gonna know that it's the best thing that could have ever happened to her finding a servant of the Lord. The Lord said, I'm gonna make a man more precious than fine gold. You see? Right. Hey, uh, the book of Eli, that, that, that chick noticed that Denzel was, was that dude. She's like, yo, right. I'm going to the ends of the earth. And so she walked in town, bro. So as he walked <laughs> yep. in town, she knew he was that dude. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody knew he was that dude. So as he walked in the town, bro. And these people yep. gonna know him. She's gonna say, then you, you, then you should know that my, who my service was, you know? Yep. Yep. He's his mind gonna be stable and everything, you see? Yep. He was calm, cool, and collective, and all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What else did you have, bro? Uh, Luke 21. Before you read that, bro, let me read a little bit of this. Um, some more of this second edge of the 16th chapter. It says, um, second edge of the 16, verse 34 again, and it reads, In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Yeah, lack of food, bread, water. All right. And the Lord knows what these bodies need to, to, to continue to function. Right. right? At, 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 a, at a good level. And the Lord is going to take, he's going to strip that away from you people, man. Damn. He's going to strip it away. And that's cold. They have white lips and everything like Tyrone Biggums and everything, bro. <laughs> Damn lips going to have that white ring around it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. And that's going to resort to you people doing things that you never imagined that you thought you would do. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You know, Damn, bro. Yep. Damn. It says, um, hear now these things and understand them, ye <laughs> servants of the Lord. Um, mm -hmm. matter of fact, um, behold the word of the Lord, receive it, believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, mm -hmm. the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Mm -hmm. As a woman, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth a son. And two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass a womb. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You got it. Fuck you. You got it. No, you got it. Yeah, and that's what the pains you're seeing now. All right. You're seeing these pains hit America now, man. Yep. All right. Whether it's through uh, job loss, homelessness, uh, uh, rising of uh, uh, inflation. Okay. These things are only going to increase and I'm going to get worse, man. Right. All this judgment going forth, you know what I'm saying? It says, um, <clears throat> which, pain, which pains when the child coming forth, they slack not a moment. Yeah, they slack not a moment. There's nothing you can do about it, man. They increase. Mm -hmm. It says, um, it says, even so shall not the, the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. The whole the the it says the the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. Why? It's because it's the day. It's, it's, the, it's the day of the Lord, man. And we're living in the days of the Lord. These are the things the Lord said will be happening prior to His arrival, man. These nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, bro. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yep. These are the evils that the Bible prophesies about. Mm-hmm. You know, just because you don't read it, don't mean it ain't gonna happen. Right. You got people that say, "Oh, I don't, I, you know, I don't read the Bible. I don't, you know, I don't believe." It's just because you yeah. don't believe or read it doesn't mean it's not gonna happen, man. Right. <clears throat> so what if some don't believe? Kind Should of. that unbelief make the faith of the of the Most High without effect? Yeah, how will forbid? forbid? Let the Most High be true and every man a liar. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So everything that we're reading, if if it ain't already came to pass, it will eventually come to pass. You see? And that's right. You got it, bro. I was gonna part that second it was the 15th chapter, but for process of time, we um, read yeah. Luke, you know what I'm saying? Then we'll wrap it up. Come on, this is Luke 21 and uh <clears throat> 34. Right. It says, and take heed to yourselves, least at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unawares. Love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. We got to be constantly examining ourselves. <clears throat> See, yep. The Lord said, don't be out there doing too much. You know what I'm saying? It says, use the world, but don't abuse it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You got it. 
Yeah, because we've seen that happen to guys. Um, I put up a third job. I'm doing this and that. Uh, look, man, you got to know yourself in this truth, man. Right. You know, you're doing too much. Then what are you going to make time for the Lord? Right. You know? That's it. That is, that's time to, um, <laughs> what's that, downgrade, bro? Yep. Downgrade, downsize. Uh, you got to get, you know what I'm saying, um, three, four jobs. That means you're doing too damn much. You most definitely need to downgrade. You know yep. what I'm saying? Downsize. Yep. Smaller house, small apartment. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Something's going on. Anytime you got to get you do Something's <laughs> going wrong when you got to get three jobs, bro. Yeah. Because you got to remember, our mindset is detaching from this place. This place is getting ready to go. Right. You know, so you don't need the biggest house. You don't need the biggest apartment. You don't need a, right. you know, the, the latest this, the latest that. Right. <clears throat> you got it. This is Luke 21 and 35. It says, sure, if, you get, if you got three jobs, you most definitely ain't doing lessons. You probably ain't hitting the highway with the bowels. How's you going? How you going to um, fit? See, you know, everything surrounded. Uh, the Lord's right here is the main priority. <laughs> Everything, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, is surrounded by that. You know what I'm saying? You see? Mm -hmm. The Lord's business is priority. We we get we handle that first. And then everything else comes after that Lord's will, you know? Yeah. Hey, look, uh, Matthew 6, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and everything else okay. shall be added. Yep. Yep. Got um, it. Back in Luke 21 and 35, it says, for as a snare shall it come upon Shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth? As a trap for the Israelites that ain't looking. Things yeah. are, my people act like things are actually happening, bro. My phone chimed in. Things are actually happening each and every day, man. These mm -hmm. prophecies are being fulfilled each and every day. And the Lord said this devil's going to come in with great wrath, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. That's right. He was given power to take peace from the earth. He's doing that right now. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yep, verse 36, Luke 21 and 36. It says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all the these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So we're constantly watching, we're constantly praying, keeping up with current events, checking out the, the latest technology and digital things that's happening upon the face of the earth. We go to the grocery store, we're watching. We go to the bank, car watch, no matter where we go, we're watching. We're seeing this devil, you know what I'm saying, really making this whole system a convenience store. And like you said, the spot that we went to Saturday, you know what I'm saying? We're not taking mm -hmm. cash, you know what I'm saying, but you can trade your cash in, you know what I'm saying, for this card. Yep. You can buy things with this card. Mm -hmm. Everything's going digital. So mm -hmm. we already know, you know what I'm saying, he's going to make some type of event happen. Once again, problem, reaction, solution. He's going to create the problem. He's going to see how people react to it. And he's going to bring in the solution, which is martial law. And he's going to start locking shit down. And if you want to bring, if you want to um, pretty much go back to any type of um, normalcy, then you're going to have to know, say, abide by his rules. Yep. Which, which is taking that seat here, you know? Mm -hmm. so just an open form, you know what I'm saying? Letting our people know, that, look, man, giving you warning from the Lord, man. Over and over. Watch as well as pray. That we're kind of worthy, Lord, willing to escape all these things that shall come to pass. It's happening now, Israel. Yep. See, reality is kicking in. Don't say for everybody that was in that damn stupor, was in that dream. You see, every dream, you everyone has to wake up from that dream eventually. Mm -hmm. And when you wake up from that dream, reality, or you might be dreaming about some old horrifying things happening. That's how you know you wake up from that dream, and that that's happening in your reality. You see, right? You got it, bro. Hey, so with that, Lord, one of us was edifying. Before we close, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bahashem, Double honors, our apostle, Elders, a great millstone. Shalom. Shalom.